After centuries of movement across Eastern and Central Europe, Visigoths became one of the most influential powers in the post-Roman West, ruling much of the Iberian Peninsula between 418 and 711 AD. Archaeology links early Gothic groups to Scandinavia's Gotland region and the wheelbark culture of northern Poland. They settled north of the Black Sea and in modern Ukraine, becoming the core of the Cherniakiv culture, mixing with Paleo-Balkan people such as the Thracians, Dacians, and Illyrians. Under Alaric I, the Visigoths marched into Italy. Rome settled them as Federati in Aquitania Secunda, forming the Kingdom of Toulouse, the first Visigothic state, located in Gaulish lands. After losing most of their Gallic possessions to the Franks in the Battle of Vuil, the Visigothic center moved entirely into Hispania, where they created the long-lasting Visigothic Kingdom of Toledo. In this video, we will explore the genetics of Spanish Visigoths. I collected 10 Visigothic samples from Spain, some more purely Visigothic and others more admixed. I used academic tools such as AdmixTools 1 and 2, but also amateur tools such as my Trait Predictor tool to analyze their genetics and the structure of their population. These Visigothic samples fall into three distinct cluster. The pure or original Visigothic cluster clusters with Northern French and Southwestern Germans. There is also the Barcelona cluster, which clusters with Southern French and Northeastern Spaniards. Finally, there is the Granada Visigothic cluster which is heavily mixed with Berbers and actually clusters with the southernmost Iberians. In QPADM, the Barcelona and Granada Visigoths can be modeled as a mixture of the pure Visigothic cluster with the Guanches and Iron Age Iberians. The pure Visigoths have a typical Western European genetic profile. The dominant component in them is the Anatolian farmer component, which makes up 43% of their ancestry. Their hunter-gatherer contribution is high, at 24% Eastern and 10% Western hunter-gatherer admixture. One surprising thing about these pure Visigoths is that they actually pick up a decent chunk of Natufian admixture. These pure Visigoths can be modeled as a three-way mixture of corded where Proto-Indo-European, Natufian, and the Funnel Beaker culture, acting as a proxy for European farmer admixture. Although the Visigoths do originate in southern Sweden and are Germanic by origin, they picked up so much Paleo-Balkan and Celtic ancestry on their way to Iberia that the Germanic contribution is only about one-eighth of their total ancestry. Let's move on to their trait predictor results. The most common Y lineage observed was our 1B, but there was a prevalence of West Asian and Middle Eastern lineages too, such as J and E1B. Most common predicted phenotypes were Atlantid and Nordic types, with the Nordic types being more common in the pure Visigothic group. Eye colors ranged from blue to medium brown, with lighter eyes being more prevalent among the pure Visigoths. Hair colors ranged from dark blonde to black. One sample likely had reddish hair. Skin colors ranged from pale white to olive, with lighter skin being more common in the pure Visigothic group. Hair textures ranged from straight to kinky. Nose shapes ranged from strongly Greek to strongly snub, but Greek noses were more common. Male pattern baldness was prevalent. The Visigoths scored intermediate for predicted levels of empathy. The warrior phenotype, associated with lower dopamine levels, was common among the Visigoths. Autism predisposition was low. Predisposition to bipolar type 2 was low. Predisposition to bipolar type 1 was low, with two exceptions. Cardiovascular risks were low. Type 2 diabetes predisposition was quite low as well. Homocysteine levels were low too. The Visigoths were strongly predisposed to various autoimmune conditions. Multiple sclerosis risks were medium, but type 1 diabetes was very prevalent. Many samples carried HLA risk variants for autoimmune disease, with two samples scoring highest for the risk of autoimmune disease. Cancer predisposition was typical for Europeans. About half the samples carried polycythemia vera risk variants in J, A, K2, and noon was homozygous for them. Almost every sample was homozygous for KITLG testicular cancer risk variants, except one sample that didn't carry them at all. Epithelial cancer risk was low. The Visigoths had typical predisposition to Alzheimer's and low predisposition to allergies. Most samples were decisively lactase persistent, a trait common in Germanic and Northwest European peoples. Colorblindness risk variants were common, especially in the OPN1SW gene linked to blue-yellow colorblindness. The Visigoths were predisposed to lower odds of obesity based on FTO genotypes. The most common predicted blood type was A, but there were samples who possibly had AB, 
and even the rare CIS-AB blood group. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from the link in the description of the video.